Remembrances by John Clare Summer pleasures, they are gone Like to visions every one And the cloudy days of autumn And of winter cometh on I tried to call them back But unbidden they are gone Far away from heart and eye And forever far away Dear heart, and can it be that such raptures meet decay? I thought them all eternal when by Langley Bush I lay. I thought them joys eternal when I used to shout and play on its bank at clink and bandy, chalk and taw and ducking stone, where silence sitteth now on the wild heath as her own, like a ruin of the past all alone. When I used to lie and sing by old Eastwell's boiling spring, when I used to tie the willow boughs together for a swing, and fish with crooked pins and thread, and never catch a thing, with heart just like a feather, now heavy as a stone. When beneath old Lee Close Oak I the bottom branches broke to make our harvest cart, like so many working folk, and then to cut a straw at the brook to have a soak. Oh, I never dreamed of parting, or that trouble had a sting, or that pleasures like a flock of birds would ever take to wing, leaving nothing but a little naked spring. When jumping time away on old Crossberry Way, And eating whores like sugar plums ere they had lost the May, And skipping like a leveret before the peep of day, On the roly-poly up and downs of pleasant Sordy Well, When in Round Oak's narrow lane, as the south got black again, We sought the hollow ash, that was shelter from the rain, with our pockets full of peas we had stolen from the grain. How delicious was the dinner time on such a showery day! Oh, words are poor receipts for what time hath stole away the ancient pulpit trees and the play. When for school, or little field with its brook and wooden brig, Where I swaggered like a man, though I was not half so big, While I held my little plough, though twas but a willow twig, And drove my team along, made of nothing but a name, Gee hup, and hoit, and woy, oh, I never call to mind These pleasant names of places, but I leave a sigh behind when I see the little mouldy warps hang swinging to the wind on the only aged willow that in all the field remains, and nature hides her face where they're swinging in their chains, and in a silent murmuring complains. Here was commons for their hills, where they seek for freedom still, though every commons gone, and though traps are set to kill the little homeless miners. Oh, it turns my bosom chill when I think of old sneep green puddock's nook and hilly snow, where bramble bushes grew, and the daisy gemmed in dew, and the hills of silken grass like to cushions to the view where we threw the pismire crumbs, when we'd nothing else to do, all levelled, like a desert, by the never-weary plough, all vanished, like the sun, where that cloud is passing now, and settled here forever on its brow. Oh, I never thought that joys would run away from boys, or that boys would change their minds and forsake such summer joys. But alack, I never dreamed that the world had other toys to petrify first feelings like the fable into stone. Till I found the pleasure past and a winter come at last. Then... 
The fields were sudden bare, and the sky got overcast, and boyhood's pleasing haunts, like a blossom in the blast, was shriveled to a withered weed, and trampled down and done, till vanished was the morning spring, and set that summer sun, and winter fought her battle strife, and won. By Langley Bush I roam, but the bush hath left its hill. On Cooper Green I stray, tis a desert, strange and chill, and spreading lee close oak ere decay had penned its will to the axe of the spoiler, and self-interest fell a prey. And Crossberry Way, and old round oak's narrow lane, With its hollow trees like pulpits, I shall never see again. Enclosure, like a bone apart, let not a thing remain. It levelled every bush and tree, and levelled every hill, And hung the moles for traitors, though the brook is running still, It runs a naked brook, cold and chill. Oh, had I known as then joy had left the paths of men, I had watched her night and day, be sure, and never slept again. And when she turned to go, oh, I'd caught her mantle then, and wooed her like a lover by my lonely side to stay. I knelt and worshipped on as love in beauty's bower, and clung upon her smiles as a bee upon a flower, and gave her heart my posies, all cropped in a sunny hour, as keepsakes and pledges, all to never fade away. But love never heeded to treasure up the may. So it went, the common road, with decay.